Welcome back to another video, guys. I am your boy, Eddie, from Eddietainment, but you are not watching me on my channel, so if you're tuning in now, you are actually tuning in to the Knights of Horror. Today, we're gonna do a coast-to-coast -coast exclusive, so I'm actually gonna cover something on the East Coast that Anthony may not get a chance to go check out, and that is the Halloween Horror Nights Tribute Store here at Universal Studios Orlando. Tomorrow would have been the opening weekend for Halloween Horror Nights, so this is how we're gonna get our fill. Come along with us. Let's check out that Halloween Horror Nights 30 tribute store. So it looks like some tribute store exclusives on Tuesday, September 15th. But here we are, the beautiful tribute store facade. And here we go, Halloween Horror Nights tribute store. Hello. Thank you. Ah, so excited. Oh, nice AC too. Oh, Frankenstein's lab. Oh, I've seen this online, but in person, it's different. It just has a different feel to it. And I was talking about it on my social medias about doing a giveaway for the Moldoramas. I believe there's a pumpkin one as well. You pay some money and you get a mold that comes out looking like so. And there must be another machine somewhere here because I did see that there's a pumpkin one. And it is $6 per mold. So I may come back, get some molds and do a giveaway on the channel. So stay tuned. Let's check out this merch. We got Dracula. The Bride of Frankenstein. Frankenstein's monster himself. Oh, I like this one right here. And that one's pretty cool as well. Now going back, this is where you entered by. I'm in the back corner. You got Frankenstein's monster right there in the center. You got my girlfriend, she's a fixed prop here at the Halloween Horror Nights tribute store. And then we got some more merch over here. For the ladies, we have a Universal Classic Monsters dress it looks like. Very cool. We have some throw pillows for those who like to be decorative at home with their horror. Some tumblers and some shirts. I have this shirt. You guys have probably seen me wear it on the channel. I don't have the hoodie though. And I definitely don't have this guy. This is like the comic book strip V-neck. Not sure if that's something I could wear often. So typically when I buy something, it's something that I'm gonna wear. So I like to keep them as simple as possible, but these are all really cool. Definitely awesome if you're gonna decorate like an office or a studio. Okay, I had to get these because they're just hilarious. Seasonal rubber ducks. For the horror fan just looking to take a bubble bath. <laughs> that Frankenstein one is hilarious. And then this one is Dracula. I'm going to drink your bubbles! Alright, this particular shirt right here is a lot better in person than it is online. Online, I did not think it'd be that cool, but I think I might have to get this one. Now my girl's girlfriend searching for my size. This is the Universal Pass Holder shirt. I'm definitely getting that. Well, look at this guy, glow in the dark. This is another one that definitely looks much better in person than it did online. The only thing for me is, like I said, I want to wear these shirts, so I need them a little bit more simple. That's a big design. Now this one, though, I'm still not too big of a fan of this one. This is a girl's shirt, though, and it's Queen of the Silver Screen. Not terrible. It does look better in person than it did online, 
but once again it's one of those where the design's a little too large for me so over here we have some artisan painted skulls for 125 dollars what a steal they do look really cool and mostly that this one right here the liberty tower that's your purge for you and then this wall right next to it is so cool theme look at that all these gauges and pipes very lavatory-esque feel here and one more look at Frankenstein's monster all right now we are exiting the Frankenstein laboratory headed over to the Jack's carnival portion oh my god look at the ceiling this is a fall heaven and there may not be pumpkins in that one scare zone, but there are plenty here. Let's get a quick look at Jack. That's not a bad deal. Select HHN tees, two for $40. And this is a pretty cool one. I love Jack's shirts from 2000. One of the classics. Got some more merch down here. Some shot glasses and pins. And then a backpack. This one has that, that artist sketch on it though. These were just added recently. These are the throwback tees, Halloween Hornets. Got some more pins, as well as hats and socks. This right here is something I've always wanted a Halloween themed Christmas tree. That's the facade of last year's tribute store. And then we got some other decorated balls, the pumpkin back there. And tis the season to scream. As well as some other artisan painted stuff in here. Over here we have the little ticket booth with some of the old maps. This is from October 1993. Now we got some of the maps back here. Let's see if I could focus in. There we go. Don't have my nighttime lens, but this will have to do. And this down here is actually pretty special. It's the first year that I went. Halloween Horror Nights, Islands of Fear, The Caretaker. I wonder if any of these have like Easter eggs. I'm not sure. I'm trying to go slow so everybody could see. I'll let us know. Here's another one of those Moldorama machines. This is the Universal Studios Florida, and this one's for the pumpkin. $6. As the other one was, put in some money and it'll be made before your eyes. Now this right here is the artist merch that they've been advertising. And I believe it's several different artists that came together and drew Jack. And that's why you see it split that way. These, I think are for a pretty steal of a deal. They come with an authentic authentication certificate and artists signature series poster for $30. That's pretty crazy. I think this is a must buy and I must buy it right now. <laughs> Here's another look at that pumpkin wall. These guys look so cool. And the ambient music is amazing as well. As I was looking up, I also noticed the icons above. We got the storyteller. We got Jack the Clown. We got my original icon, the caretaker. He deserves a better view. And the director. And yes, that's the artist shirt, babe. Beneath Jack, we have some more cool merch with all the icons. Got the t-shirt, the drawstring backpack, and then we have the collector's cups, storyteller, 
caretaker. And then some pins, as well as some more cups, Jack and the director. And I don't see a cup for the usher though. Interesting. Magnets, keychains, everything. Don't want to leave this guy out. We got the usher. And then down this way, which is the facade of last year's tribute store, we have the next room. And here we continue to the next room, which has all of these blasts from the past. Mel's dying. They're dying to serve you. And these are also some looks at the past as well. Some photos of the event. Originally, this door said coming soon, and then the next door now open. We have Beetlejuice. He's always been a big part of the event, and from the looks of it, would have been a huge part of this year's event. With the next room being evidence of that. Look at all this. Here are some more pictures of the event. I could stay in this hallway all day. Over here we have some of the old maps as well. This one right here is one that never came to fruition because Eddie was actually pulled from the plans. The caretaker. The director. They're all here. Hello. Yeah, your sister would love this. I know, what are we gonna get her? Get her everything. Get her a t-shirt. So detailed. These are make your own t-shirts. Oh man, look at this Beetlejuice room. Oh, focusing issues. This is the official Beetlejuice shirt for Halloween Horn Nights, which if he wasn't gonna be here this year, this merch wouldn't exist. Unfortunately, the event was canceled, so we'll never know for sure, even though it's pretty sure that he would have been here. This is cool. We got a little lunchbox, which is the handbook for the recently deceased, and also a little notebook from Beetlejuice. And over here we got the socks, which actually are pretty cool. Look at this pair right here. Is that a scarf or a sock? That's a sock? That's a cool one. I think your sister might like that. Over here we have another look at the t-shirt. And at the bottom you can see Halloween Horror Nights. Does not say 30 though. Just kind of ambiguous, but pretty obvious. And some hats. As well as some hoodies. More of those socks. And then these cool keychains. $14, keychain and lanyard. I don't see the lanyard, oh, the. I don't see the lanyard though. Oh, it's down here. Now we're making our way back to check out the desserts. I wanna see these beating hearts. How the heck are they doing that? Oh, did they stop beating? Oh no, they're still beating. Oh, yes it is. Yeah, they are. Look at that, this one. You can tell really well. We might have to get this snack. It's called the Beating Heart Sour Gummies. We have several other little treats like the Mummy Lemon Tart. Served, what is it? Lim, lime, slime? 
severed. Uh, interesting. Halloween cake with a macaroon on top. I know everybody was making a big fuss about a, a vegan snack, but I'm not sure which one it is. But of course, it'd be the one called the vegan brownie skull. These all look so cool. This one right here sounds crazy. Bacon cheddar scallion waffle stick. It's right there. So once again, crossing over into the Beetlejuice room, we did get one snack. Babe, can we see the snack? We got the red velvet cake pop, which it has a little brain and blood splatter all over it, which we will be trying out when we get out of here. Beetlejuice was here, now it's Monique. You want a picture? Hold on. Look at this. There's some more. <laughs> and over here, we got the beautiful couple. Right next to where you check out, which looks like where you check into the underworld let's go check out and our last little look at the tribute store before we head out thank you oh this is so cool now serving number three in the waiting room and we're out, overexposed. All right, so we got the red velvet cake. It looks pretty good. It's got the blood splatter and the little brain on the top. Babe, why don't you go ahead and take the first bite? Tell us how it is. Let me see the inside. It's really soft. Yeah, really soft. Really flavorful. Is it moist? Oh, yum. I didn't even see that. All right. I think it's my turn. Hello, second bite. Go ahead, go. Yeah, it's red. Okay, so. You're going to go straight for the brain? You just took a taste of the brain? So you can have some too. Thanks. I do like the cake. Oh wow, that's rich. The brain is about to fall off. <laughs> Never. Mm -hmm. Alrighty guys, once again you are watching the Knights of Horror, but I am Eddie from Edutainment. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, subscribe to uh, the Knights of Horror if you haven't already, but you are watching on their channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Comment down below and let us know what you thought about the Tribute Store. This is how we're going to be experiencing our Halloween Horror Nights this year since unfortunately we will not be able to actually get the full event. Right now, my girlfriend and I are actually tasting the snack that we got from the Tribute Store, which is delicious. It's the the red velvet cake. If you're coming to try it out, it's the cake pop. All the members in there recommended it, so that's why we got it. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Like this video, subscribe to show your support. And as always, don't forget to ask yourself, have you been entertained? And like Anthony says, we'll see you on the next video.